Got a pocket full of money, Mercedes no top You acting like you with it, so come on baby come and get it With you in the morning, I let you go shop The sky is the limit I got a pocket full of money, Mercedes no top You acting like you with it, so come on baby come and get it With you in the morning, I let you go shop The sky is the limit, so come on baby come and get it Smile for the cameras, them haters don't stop I love it when they watch, so come on baby come and get it Fly away This your boy Play, and this my boy Chris Cannon. We're gonna give you a little brief interlude on, you know, my boy. <laughs> Got a little fans in the background trying to cheer him on. <laughs> We've been anticipating this for the longest, you know what I'm saying? The wait is over, here go my boy Chris Cannon. So we're gonna do a little interview with him, get you to know a little Where bit about it. So like, we're gonna start what, off. What, what you trying to do as far as an artist, and you know, I know you, I, I heard a whole bunch of tracks. I'm a fan myself, so like, let people know. <laughs> let people know a little bit about you, man. Uh, it's all I really know, man. Man, Chris Cannon. Uh, straight out of GC, man. Gaston County. You feel me? Uh, I always gotta do it for the home team, but um, I was born and raised there. Um, it's my heart, man. And basically, as far as music is concerned, we uh, working hard. I uh, got my own. Uh, 25th Entertainment, and uh, right now I'm the headline artist. Um, I don't know my whole philosophy on music is, you know what I'm saying? Be true to yourself, be true to your roots, and you know what I'm saying? As long as you stay true to you and make good music, people will follow. You know what I'm saying? True. And that's, that's just to let y'all know now you live. You won't hear too much, oh, booty shaking and all this type of music. That's not me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a disrespectful person in my music. Don't disrespect women like that. Sometimes I might call a female a hoe or something like that. That's about as bad as it get. <laughs> I don't think you need to throw a parental advisor stick on the front of my disc because of that. But, uh, you said it politely too, now. <laughs> you said it politely. I deal with a lot of, you know, a lot of my music I just basically talk about, you know what I'm saying, me with my thoughts and, you know what I'm saying, how I feel about a lot of things. Um, I'm not a thug. I'm a little close to it. I did some bad things in my day, but you know. Hey, who has it, man? You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I, I got a little car, you feel me? Just swipe and be like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Me, my thoughts, I let people know in my music. I, I express myself fully. You know, if I'm feeling a certain way about something. And I can't talk to nobody. I sit in the studio for a couple hours, put down a track, and um, I'll put it down and people know exactly, you know what I'm saying, my way of thing, because I think that's, that's basically what I want people to, you know what I'm saying, see from my music, like, that's like my main goal, that's how I know, you know, people listen to my music, people understand me, I want to be the type of person, I can go to the mall, I can be sitting in the park, sitting down, and a total stranger, you know what I'm saying, walk up, like, hey, you Chris Payne, yeah, man, let me talk to you about something, blah, blah, we can chop it up for hours, you know what I'm saying, and talk, and I don't even know this person, but they feel like they can relate to me, you know what I'm saying, because of what I'm saying. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The like 16, you know what I'm saying, bar. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? When it get to that point, that's when I really feel like, okay. This I, dude I, I, is I, a I, real I, big artist, dude. Like, this ain't no like low class stuff, man. I heard one of his songs is on, man, that he did a video. That's right. I need to catch the video. You got to catch the video, man. He doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, the video was nice. He did, where, where was it? Where um, he did that? He actually shot it in Jackson. Okay. He shot it in Jackson. Did it in Jacksonville? The stuff look nice, man. This dude is doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you going March on tour? 11. Okay. Uh, March 11, dude, 28, actually. <laughs> uh, March 11, we we'll, uh, we'll started off in uh, Panama City for spring break. And it's an um, tour being uh, thrown on by uh, IMG, University, or whatever. And it'll be a lot of big acts, uh, what I know so far. PC, um, March 11. Then uh, the 13th will be in Daytona. We'll stay in Daytona to the 18th. And the 18th will be in Fort Lauderdale. 
Then the 21st we'll be in Miami for a whole week. And um, the 25th actually, no, the 26th we'll be in Tampa. 27 Gainesville. And then after the 27th, back home in Tallahassee. And uh, Tallahassee, so y'all gotta be at, cause uh, if they bring in one of my, I guess you could say one of my favorite artists, as far as like energy, they bring in mystical, so. Oh man, that's we, gonna be uh, nasty right now, man. Turn, turn we actually be at Baja, so you know, make sure y'all there, man. Make sure y'all there. First and foremost, it was, it's not It's not even an artist, it was my mom. She, oh, okay, that's what it is, she, what's uh, love? She's number one. Um, she, because at one point I had just totally stopped being an age where I was, you know what I'm saying, became, beginning to mature. And, um, Pretty much, it was like, I want to change, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be out here talking about all this trap and right. doing all this stuff. It's, it's too cliche. Yeah, and I, I was like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? People don't really know me for me, but that's all I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? And basically, she told me, she was like, baby boy, you got to stay true to yourself. And then she told me, if I ever hear you doing anything with disrespect, I'm going to snatch you off stage and I'm going to drag you out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If, if you know Donald, if you know Donald Ross, she's about this tall. But be a little red woman, she kind of scared. One thing, really scared. Me, know. one thing that really got me started on music was my father. He, uh, his, uh, his artist name is Son of Pearl, and he did a whole lot of things in the 80s, and, you know, during the whole Neo Soul, you know what I'm saying, era and everything, with Prince and everybody was out. And um, I just thought it was the coolest thing in the world to see that I had a cassette tape with my daddy on. You know what I'm saying? So I, just, I just, when we used to have arguments at school, oh, my daddy will beat your daddy up. I don't care, my daddy got a tape. You know so, it was like, I don't really care what you're saying, but. You gotta give a shout like, out to your manager, man. Right, do it. Right, man. My, yeah, put it together, man. Dude, it done saved my life, man, I'm telling you. Because it, it's been times where I want, you know what I'm saying, just basically say, man, forget this, man. I'm, man, funds looking low, man, I gotta get out here and do something. But you know what I'm saying, he'll keep pushing me. And you know what I'm saying, with him pushing me and everything, and you know what I'm saying, him having faith in me. You know what I'm saying, when when I didn't have faith in myself, you, you know what I'm saying, he saw something in me. And Rod is the type of person, he saw not something in me. You know what I'm saying, that. Like, I thought that, I thought I saw certain things in myself, well, yeah, I'll make it. But Rod, he, he pulled, you know what I'm saying, certain things out of me. Like, I sent him a song and said, how you like that? I like it, but. You need to go more in depth. And once I go more in depth in it, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so he bring it out of you, man. He bring it out of you. And on top of that, he's more than just a manager. He really like it. A whole oh, this is one thing you gotta respect all the time. And it's uh when somebody actually reaches out to you, when they don't know you at all, when they reach out to you, you know what I'm saying, whether they in your city or from across the world, whenever they reach out to you and they say they wanna help you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take heed with it. Because the way the way things are now, it's very rare that, you know what I'm saying, anybody will reach out to somebody and be like, hey man, I wanna help you. Or, hey, I wanna do this with you. Or, hey, I wanna get you out there without wanting something they sell. Right. And you know what I'm saying? I gotta say that about play, you know what I'm saying? He's a man of integrity. Like, he just holler at me. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, let's, you know what I'm saying? Let's do this, blah, blah, blah. And, you know what I'm saying? We said it took like three, four months. But, Hey, it was We're worth it, it though. It was worth it though. It <laughs> Yo, it's Chris Can. And if you want to contact me, follow me on Twitter. Capital C underscore. Not a dash, not a slash. And a little line that's under. Yeah, that guy. Underscore Cannon. Capital C A N N O N. Not Nick Cannon, not none of them guys. Chris Can. Uh, if you want me on Facebook, Facebook.com backslash Chris Cannon Music. Holla at me, whatever. Chop it up with me. I love talking to people. I love meeting people. Hey, just get at me.